Uh, you you got some you got some interesting stuff you want to tell yeah, us about. Yeah, well, you know, we were talking about how powerful the church was and, you know, for for a big period of time especially during kind of that Renaissance age, they, it was they were essentially the Vatican and the Catholic Church was basically just the royalty of the western world. Mm-hmm. You know, if you were the pope, you were the king of the west, right? right. So, uh the thing I wanted to kind of bring up is really it's a short but very Aaron Pita story. <laughs> <laughs> and this was the uh, the banquet of chestnuts. Hell ever, yeah. you ever heard of the banquet? Oh god. No. And I guess they made a uh, they did an episode on the Borgias about this because this is when it took place. It took place in uh, in 1501 when Cesar Borgia was the pope. And it was basically it was full of nepotism. Like he appointed his 15-year-old son to be a cardinal and then his his daughter was in there too and she was really young. There might have been some incest and stuff like that. And they were just Ugh. known for the corruption and debauchery. Uh, very Trumpy. Very, very. <laughs> Lots <laughs> with of the, piss. With, with the, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so much piss. So the, <laughs> the banquet of the chestnuts was put on by Cesar Borgia before he became Pope. And it was Pope Alexander, his dad, who put it on in 1501. And uh, they had this giant, huge banquet in the, in the palaces in, in, in the Vatican. And uh, that, you know, it was a who's who of the papacy and, and Catholicism at the time. And uh, giant, giant feast, which I imagine pheasants and meat pies and fruits mm-hmm. and delicacies and jugs of wine. And they had, uh, you know, there's candelabras all around. So you imagine like the wax is melting all over the table. It's dimly lit. <laughs> Everyone's getting <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and they, uh, they invited like 50 of the best courtesans. In Rome, they were hookers. <laughs> <laughs> they brought fifty of the best hookers there, and so at the uh, so the dinner's over. They're having their wine, their dessert wine or whatever, and everyone's all lit up on piss. <laughs> 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 and uh, so then, like the uh, the servants come out and they take the candelabras off the table to clean off the table. They put the candelabras like on the floor. Mm. So this is the, all the light is coming from the floor. There's no fucking light bulb. Straight to the floor. Hell yeah. <laughs> so light, it's all dimly lit. The candles are on the floor, melting, melting wax like on the floor everywhere. And they would they threw a bunch of uh, chestnuts on the ground. And oh. like roasted chestnuts are like a nice, like sweet, you know, warm, desserty kind of treat. They were a treat back then. Chestnut. They didn't have fucking like. You know, they didn't have Swedish fish and <laughs> yeah, they didn't have chocolate. They didn't have no chocolate. Pull and peel Twizzlers. <laughs> they didn't have any of that shit. It was a dark time. It was a dark time. No chocolate. Chocolate. No fucking chocolate. Uh, Guys, got any chocolate? And um, fucking chestnuts. And so they all the the hookers start to disrobe. They're naked. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're all lit up, <laughs> and uh, they made them crawl around on the floor naked. Hold the phone. <laughs> Yeah. Really? Made them crawl around on the floor naked to gather up all the chestnuts. And basically it was it turned into a free for all to like bang all these hookers on the floor while, while they, they gather getting all the chestnuts. And the Pope would just like sit back and like admire this as all of his people, those cronies are nailing ass up. to ass. Oh hell yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Jennifer Connolly's there. Hell yeah. <laughs> and, Get uh, the nuts. And well that's the thing about the nut. Is that <laughs> is that the Pope like was super super into male virility? Like he he would they would keep, he kept score by like how many times these guys could nut? No, and if no, they, like how big their loads no, were? No, yep, no, yep, no, no, yep, no, no. Yep, yep. He was like, oh, that, this guy he had, he blew three nuts on this. He's got fucking, a big nut. Oh, dude, the banquet. He's got a, he's got a fucking max load, bro. <laughs> dude, ba- the banquet of the best nuts. Oh, oh is my. what this ended up being. <laughs> that and, was really the deal. Yeah. So like you know, servants kept score of each man's orgasms because the Pope like really admired virility and measured a man's machismo by. By his Jesus ejaculative capacity. <laughs> As you sure, do. Uh, you know, like you said, they probably could have used some max load. Yeah, I mean, because if you're if you're fucking in front of the Pope, you want three things: you want to come harder, you want to come longer, and you, you want to come, come more. more. Yeah, <laughs> yo, I'm trying to be that fucking archbishop, bro. <laughs> uh, and so people say that maybe it was kind of like uh, this: the story was embellished to make the church look bad, but like it's really not. No, they, they did, were up to that. They shit. were up to that kind of shit. I'm, I just, I'm, I'm surprised there's not as much piss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not, there's not enough 
gratuitous nastiness. Yeah, to, if, to if anything had been changed, be yes, exactly. Yeah. It's right on par with the stuff they did. And I guess the guy had his own, the Pope had his, like, you know, his record keeper type of guy. And uh, he he wrote this all this shit down that that's what they did and it was just a, one of like the most legendary crazy orgies and there are like paintings of it and stuff too maybe we'll put them on the Instagram yeah yeah the uh, the show the Borgias on Showtime did it they I guess they took some liberties but uh yeah, man the fucking banquet of the chestnuts the uh Jesus Christ I, I wish I was there <laughs> uh, that sounds like a, a real wild we, time. You know, you talk about Catholicism not really doing a good job of selling yep. the story. I mean, you tell me mm. that if I take my communion, I maybe go, get to go to a bank of the chestnuts when I turn 14. <laughs> Imagine the Facebook invite. <laughs> <laughs> the banquet of, banquet of the chestnuts sounds boring. And you read the fine print, and you're like, oh, 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 fuck. Interested. Don't, yeah. don't uh, not interested <laughs> RSVP. Mm -hmm. It just says don't nut for three days before you cut. <laughs> yeah, the Pope's watching. Yeah, you, you gotta save it up, dude. The Pope with his eyebrows all up. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has a big load. And then they gave he would he gave prizes out. They gave prizes to like both the hookers and the guys who would nut so much, like silk robes and shoes and shit like that. <laughs> Robe. Yeah, creeping on their hands and knees between the chandeliers, trying to get all that nut. I tell you about the thing with my uh, <laughs> chestnuts and also right when uh, my fucking uh, my family would go to Ireland when I was a kid all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd be in the airport or whatever, and like there'd be like fucked up, you know, like it was like a whole gang of us, right? <laughs> And uh, my grandfather was like, you know, the patriarch there. And uh, one time they're like, they keep announcing the flight's delayed, the flight's delayed. And we're all waiting. And I'm like a kid, so I'm like mad impatient. This seems like eternity. And uh, they like, they're like, something's wrong with the windshield of the plane. We're like, okay, well, that sounds bad. Because <laughs> there's guys up there flying it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, they're like, okay, yeah, we're still working on the windshield. And they're like, okay, whatever. And they're like, well, we're not going to fix it. Like, this is like, so like, we're all in like the the gate of the airport and we're all like looking up. You know how you look up when a thing comes over the, the, the PA, you, you all look at the speaker mm -hmm. for some reason, mm -hmm. even though there's nothing to see there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're all looking up at this shit. And they're like, well, um, the plane is not going to be fixed in time. It's going to go out tomorrow. And um, in the meantime, um, you all can go to the JFK hotel and... A room and a buffet will be provided, or rooms and a buffet will be provided. My grandfather hears robes and a buffet <laughs> will be provided. Like, we're all going to be in the gate of the airport wearing robes. <laughs> like, you're like, oh, well, this means it's nighttime. We have robes. <laughs> so my grandfather's looking up at the speaker, and he goes, a robe? I don't want a fucking robe. <laughs> and we're like, no, Pat, rooms, man, rooms. They're going to give us a room. And so then later we're at the fucking, we're at the fucking buffet in the JFK hotel. And we're like, I was like stirring it up, you know what I mean? And I'm like a kid and I go, hey, Pat, uh, I'm like, what's your problem with robes anyway? And he goes, they're for Frenchmen and homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> Now where are the chestnuts at this fucking buffet? <laughs>